Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Um, today I have a uh, craft with me and project share for our hashtag Wacky Wednesday Junk Journal Swap 2021. And this is my um, junk journal I created for my swap partner. Now, um, this junk journal is a six, supposed to be like a six by six. Yeah about six by six and um, I used fabric for my cover and a crochet flower and a button for my closure with an elastic and I did do some sewing you can see some stitching so I stitched um, my fabric cover and in between the two pieces of fabric I have um, that um, kids foam from Hobby Lobby it's the pretty thick one um, so I used it for the cover the spine and the back okay and um, these are just my inserts they're not even they're not attached right now but I'll go through that in a minute so you could see um, this square piece right in here um, that's where the foam is um, encased and then um, I used ribbon now you can see they're not exactly aligned but I stitched right through the fabric this was um, after I had put the foam in I attached the ribbon and just used my sewing machine and went back and forth back and forth and it stitched all the way through to the front that's why we have this um, this ribbon that um, Inez shared with me and this is what the ribbon looks like it has flowers and butterflies and I thought it looked really good with our junk journal book now these were fat quarters no not fat quarters um, these were squares of fabric and um, I don't have it out right now but anyway and these are squares of fabric and these were two pieces two separate pieces and I just joined them in the middle and it's you can see where I attached them together um, I also went around the edging with my pinking shears and that is a fabric scissors right there just to help prevent the fabric from fraying okay so that is basically my cover now I was going to attach this piece of scrap with the ribbon. I, I just glued more ribbon. This is um, from Inez again. Um, I'm thinking of attaching it here with some fabric fusion is what I have. Aline's fabric fusion and I just got this from uh, Hobby Lobby. And it takes a minute to take hold. So, um, yeah, just be careful how much you put because it will seep through while it's in my hands. I'm going to go ahead and attach my pocket. This will be a pocket. If I planned it better, I would have um, stitched the pocket on here instead of using glue. I prefer stitching. If I'm using fabric, I would rather sew it on. But this fabric glue is very good. It will hold. It's pretty um, strong. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna move this to the side and let it dry. Oh, and I also have a flap so it closes the junk journal in. And the thing I like about it is that it's soft. So if she wants to add more pages to it, um, she can do that. So here I have three signatures, okay? And I used um, papers from Maggie Holmes and uh, just papers that I also had in my, in my stash. And uh, I don't know the name of the collection besides this one. I know this is Maggie Holmes. I think this is something else, but anyway. Here are my inserts, and all I did was, these are 12 by 12 pieces of paper, 
and I folded them into four. That was that's where I got the six by six measurement. Okay, let me take that paper out. So here you can see 12 by 12 piece of paper. All right, and I glued some scrap pieces of paper onto this flap here because otherwise it would just be white. And I don't know, I don't like it all white. So um, the only exception is this part right here. What I'm thinking about is just uh, going ahead and gluing more paper into the inside or I might just leave it plain. And then, um, yeah, so that is my six by six. That's how I got the six by six measurement. I also glued on more fabric onto the front of this little um, scrap of scrap paper. Um, yeah, and I used the same glue to attach the fabric to the paper. I also used a corner chopper to round my corners. This one I just folded down. I rounded all four corners. So that is what I did with this, the other two is the same. Actually, I take it back. No, the other two, let me put this back so I don't get them all mixed up. Um, this one, I folded in fours just the same way, but I have pockets. So I used my sewing machine and I stitched a U here. And then I took my circle punch and punched circles to get into the pockets. And I will put some goodies in there. Um, and then these are just the papers. And I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you the pages once I get through the covers. So same here. Instead, I stitched the top on the very top. And these are the pockets. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might use it this way. So I can put some trim here on the inside. Okay, so let me just show you the papers for the inserts, okay? So this is printer paper and it's eight and a half by 11 and I did the spraying technique. I used a little bit of water, a little bit of acrylic paint and I put it in my spray bottle, shook it up and then spray, sprayed all over the paper and then I took my heating, my heat tool and um, dried it. So that's what made the paper nice and crinkly and I did this technique with all of these page pages in here so this is printer paper and I cut them as close to six by six that I could get it to so if you fold it eight and a half by eleven and a half you're not going to get a complete set. <laughs> um, at least the way I cut it you're not going to get it so um, printer paper this is that compos composition notebook paper, and then um, you can see it's just pull it out, pull the stitching out, and you have a nice piece right there. I just trimmed it to six by six. This one I sprayed pink. Um, here's another um, printer paper, and then another composition. I kind of mixed them all up so that they could be all nice and spread out. So here is some graph paper, just regular school graph paper, and I sprayed that with the green. And here I have some parchment paper. And this one is just uh, folded in half and I cut that to a six by six square. And then this is just another copy paper and then it just repeats to the back side. So that is one insert and that is not even including the digital kit. Um, the, all the inserts are the same, same kind of papers. They're just altered colors. Um, I just mixed up the colors a little bit. So this one, it has a blue, a green, pink, different order, same papers. This one, I just um, glued down the flap, folded one of the corners, and this becomes a tuck spot right here right in there and um, more printer paper and then the same I did the same thing here and there's a little tuck spot right in here can't get my fingers in there but there you go I'll figure something out to put in there and then that's the same all right so that's the two inserts and this is pretty much similar already showed you the cover so there's the printer paper 
different mixed paper colors. This one, parchment paper, I have a side pocket this time and then I um, just attach some lace. And just a little bit of trim, give it some weight. And then I did the same to this side and this is just regular kitchen parchment paper. All right. And I will be adding pockets and stuff to this. And that's why it was like, it's gonna be a project share and craft with me. <laughs> All right, so you can see the papers, they're sticking out a little bit. And it doesn't matter because once I put them into the journal cover, it'll cinch all the papers in. It's just a little hanging loose a little bit just because of that. So if I take this, I don't want to, um, I don't want to stitch them, sew them in. So what I'm gonna do is you take the ribbons, and you add your first insert, make sure you got the right ribbon, the correct ribbon. And I still have more um, papers that I wanna add to the signatures. That's also why I don't want to stitch them right now. Um, once I get this in, I can adjust better. So for now, I'll just tie a bow, and when my recipient receives her swap, you know, she can move it around as she wants. So there you go, and they're in, they're pretty good. So you can make adjustments to your um, bows to fasten them more securely. I'm gonna tie this one at the top, so it doesn't matter where you tie it. It really doesn't make a difference. But my fingers are so tired, I can't even tie a bow. <laughs> okay, there we go. And tie them up nice and tight, as tight as you can. Why is this moving? <laughs> because I didn't secure it. All right, so we got our pages in there, nice and secure. Um, it's gonna be a little loose, but it's okay, because once we um, get more things added to the pages, and you just close it up just like so. I think I made my elastic a little too loose, but that's okay. That's okay, because you can always tighten it up more. But there you go, that is my journal so far. So let's start adding some goodies into our pages. All right, so let's see. Where can we go with this? I'm gonna use my pinking shears again and just cut this. I love these scissors, they're so sharp. And it only takes a minute. Hmm. It's too big. Too big. Cut it in half again. Here we go. Just like that. And I think I will use my stapler. I just go with stapler. Let me turn this. I think it's cute. Oh yeah, that is cute. Like that. <laughs> and yes. Super cute. We can add one down here. You know, just wherever, there's no rhyme, reason, whatever, right, wrong. Let's just put it in. Use whatever you like. Okay. That's cute too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. Just spread it out a little bit. And I have other fabrics that you can use. Put this one down. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my stapler. It is the best thing right now. For right now. Let me get another one. Okay guys, so let me just share with you some digitals that I found on Etsy. Um, I printed some vellum out. I'm going to try to make some envelopes with this, but this one has a very faint, um, like, textured print on there. It's very hard to see on camera. But there's the flower. It is gorgeous. This is the back side. This is the printed side. And I wanted to make either a pocket with it or something. Um, I also got these digital prints from Etsy. They're all under $3, you guys. This one I kind of messed up on. The printer messed up. There's like a line right through the middle. So I don't know how I'm gonna use that, but I also printed on the back side. And I'll probably add all that into our top journal. And this one, I printed this one. This image, if you had a 12 by 12 printer, it would print 12 by 12, but I don't have a 12 by 12 and it cut off part of the image. But um, I did not print on the back of this one because I didn't like the way it came out. But I did this, I rotated it and then had it, um, format it this way so it was portrait and printed on both sides so if i cut this in half both sides would be able to um still be pretty you still be able to use it um and there's more to those collections i just didn't print all of them out this i will be cutting out it's a little um pocket is it pocket <laughs> something anyway a library pocket or something and there's a card that comes with it so i'm gonna cut that out too and then this one they have a bunch of um, ephemera pieces tags and a frame and then there's a second one um so these are all on etsy all i did was typed in the search bar for uh what's it called um shabby chic i typed in shabby chic junk journals 
and digital and that was what came up um, so I have this little bowl here and I have pieces of Maggie Holmes these are all scraps from my um, paper pads and there's ephemeras there's teacups and little cards these are Maggie Holmes but this I was going to show is the digital kits it came with ephemeras little bitty, bitty bits you can size them bigger and smaller whatever you want once you get your download you just size to your desired size and print it out this is a little postcard envelope and I printed one of those back digital backgrounds on the, on the opposite side and then I printed out this little postcard envelope it was already ready and you just fold it up and I'm going to add that into my actually let me go ahead and do that so there's more in here so lots of good stuff tags and labels and you just it, it, it's endless what they have on Etsy and you just pay the, the fee which is a dollar something two dollars three dollars and depending on how detailed kit you want like this one is like music notes with the roses in the background um it, you know the prices will vary so I was just going for affordable and shabby chic and um quick so I'm gonna whoops put some glue here glue this in my journal so for me I'm going to glue this side onto my paper why? Because I don't, I don't want to hide the, the print. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> I can tuck stuff into that, and you can still see the printed postcard ephemera. That's what I paid for, right? So I hide it. All right. Get my glue in there. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I just need a piece of ephemera. I'm gonna probably use this. They don't match. I'm gonna go back later and ink up the pieces, which I should have inked up this one. But there you go. You have something like that. Something like that. I'm gonna add another piece of lace. I'm gonna put you guys back on. I just um, took these pieces of scraps, cutoffs from my papers, and I took a zigzag stitch across three of them, and that will be a flip for Louisa, and she can journal in it and all that good stuff. And I'm just going to attach this with um, uh, some hot glue. We're just going to use hot glue right across the top. how we're going to put it on our page and perfect that is perfect isn't that pretty look at how pretty that is I think that's so cute like that and then I'll add more <clears throat> Added some lace there, more of those tabs, and lace here. Here's our little pocket. Okay, the hard part is getting it in the envelope. <laughs> See, this is a problem already. I have some journaling cards. I'm gonna add some of that in here. Um, I'm probably gonna use. Let me grab some washi. Now you can wash it. Flowers and add flowers. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty on this color paper. Just like that. And I'm going to take this here also. I think it's going to work. I think. Yep. <laughs> now it'll work. Look at that. Cute. You know, and it's on wash. It's hold on, held on with washi, so if she doesn't like it, she can always remove it, but at least she has for that. Okay, I'm going to add some lace. <clears throat> lace, lace, lace. This is also from Inez. I want it there. This is 
pretty good. There we go. So it's not perfect because it's not, you know, this is my first junk journal like this. And so, okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to add it underneath here and stick it down like that. Okay, move all this out of the way. Oh, this is how I work. It's all the same. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. I'm going to add this here. Okay guys, so I used that printed vellum to make a shaker and this is what it looks like. I did catch like one or two sequins in my stitching but that's okay. I think it looks cute. And now to decide if I want to add it like this. Or do I want to add it like this? It slides right up under there. And then add some trim on here.
guys. It's 1.45 a.m. Whew, I gotta get to bed. I'm gonna do it like this, because this is where the... <clears throat> the inside edge. Not gonna be seen, but I just wanna cover the stitching. Okay, I'm done for now. This is what it looks like. It looks good. I like it. And this is the spine. This is the back. That's the front. This is what the side looks like. It helps keep the journal um, stuff in. I like it. And then you open it up. And here's your pocket. Here's your first signature. It looks like this. This is the first one. And you've got pocket over here. That's our tab with fabrics. And I'm gonna add some little charms, hopefully. <laughs> if I remember. Here's a little belly band, tuck spot. I have more stuff to put in here, so I'm not done adding things to it. So, looks like that. And so far there's another pocket. There's another flip spot.
I'll find more ribbon and add it into the center here. Mm, most likely I have to stitch it in again. Yep, but I love it. It came out pretty cute. I'm not even I'm not even finished yet with it, so more to go. More to go. Alright. I'll see you on the next video.